Hello dudes and lady dudes. <laughs> this is the Grumble Gamers. Why do I sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't know, that's like the default uh, or something. What are we doing today? Oh, we were gonna try to figure out how to romance Frank. Well, yeah, that's our plan. Yes. Which we didn't talk about in the last episode, but we're gonna do it now. How's it going, lady dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Patrick's got a bottle of wine. He's been shoving it down his pants to hide it from you. Let's go. I'm gonna fuck your shit up. Yeah, I'll get the popcorn. Go. Do it. <laughs> yes. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Sorry, I wanted to take it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, this is awkward. It, you didn't kill him, right? He's... He's still- uh, Look at him, save his brain. Everybody pretty much hates Patrick. I don't even know how he got <laughs> invited. Oh, whoa, oh, we are alive. Jesus, that was creepy. You okay, dude? Oh, it's you. I've got my eye on- Whoa, wait, you're- You're naked. I guess I- <laughs> have my eye on Oh my god! <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Why I'm naked? I don't know why I'm naked. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, cover press. Um. No! Oh my god, why am I naked? Oh my what? Nobody no said way. anything! I'm no so way. embarrassed. I could have said something. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I wish you were showing I don't know. Oh They're back on. Frank, why didn't you tell us? I was flashing you. How do I get him to like become best friends with him? Okay. You seem like an interesting guy. Oh, I'm interesting as fuck, dude. Frankie here is just a mystery waiting to be unraveled. Funny story. I'm actually named after Frank Perdue. This one time my mom was choking on a chicken bone. It... Hey, wait a minute. What? Was that a slur in your speech I heard? Also, I think I smell alcohol in your breath. Let me look straight in those eyes. You tell me you haven't been drinking tonight. Uh, I think the smell is actually coming from Patrick. Uh, I haven't had an actually I haven't had anything to drink. Yeah, yeah. My balls are tingling, and they only do that when someone around me has been drinking. It's kind of like a spidey sense, except it you know detects intoxication. That and well, you know what happens to my balls. <laughs> There's no way your balls can sense if somebody's drunk or not. I think it's on account of them being so enormous. Anybody with balls as big as mine would start to develop some kind of superpower. It's just science. Lucky for me, I'm blessed with impeccable booze detection in these glorious gravy nuggets. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> So how's guard duty treating you? Ah, it's exhausting work, dude, but the dangers of alcohol are no joke. You wouldn't believe the shit I have to put up with. The lies people will tell you straight to your face. That's oh, yeah. not their fault. Mostly, they're just naive and don't know any better. It's hard being a hero, you know? Oh, for sure, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you know, you gotta be selfless. Sometimes I ask myself, why I even try to help these people? That Madison chick gets it. She asked me why I'm doing this like 40 times already tonight. I'm not in it for the glory, dude. It's a rewardless job. These people hate me now. But one day, they'll understand. They'll look back one day long after they're dead and realize Oh, Frankie was right. Okay. But how about I take over for a bit? Stretch the legs. Sorry, dude. But I don't trust you enough. Maybe if you can prove to me that you can be trusted, I might reconsider. Okay. Well, how do we get you to like me? Is that you're comfortable? You, it looks uncomfortable. Fuck, dude, I know. And it doesn't help that my huge <laughs> man's glands keep getting pinched <laughs> and squish squash between my thighs every time I try to shift around. <sighs> it's hard work safeguarding these bodies. Can you stop mentioning your balls? 
<laughs> Why don't we talk about something that's not your balls? You really love your mama. You really want. You literally. You really love what your mama gave you, don't you? I shouldn't complain though. I mean, everybody knows what the perks are of having such massive milk and honeys. What? It's hard to pretend like the positives don't outweigh the negatives. It's a blessing and a curse, I suppose. But I wouldn't have it any other way. So we're just gonna keep talking about your balls, or <laughs> <laughs> no? How's the weather we're having? Um. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> Some say a man's ultimate worth and expected overall happiness in life is correlated with the size of his scrotum. And I'm a firm believer in that. And I'm not just saying that because I have rolling stones bigger than the sun do it. <laughs> Big balls are a symbol of ultimate happiness. And having the biggest man nuggets around makes other men in the area immediately respect you. It's like it's like they can sense it. You know, in fact, I have a story about that. Oh, you know what? I think Brittany's calling me. It's God, this guy's obsessed with his balls. I guess if I really wanted to get in it with him, I could call him out on his bullshit. I'll get into it with him. Let's see. There was a mission that popped up for him. A ball of mystery. Find out more about Frank and his weird convictions. Frankly, I don't trust you. Frank doesn't trust you, and that's bad news. There's got to be at least a few ways to earning his trust. I could give him all the alcohol that I've been finding. Yes, he did, I guess. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna give him the Chardonnay. Okay, we're good friends. Just doing my part, Frank. I wonder if I can find more. I'm going upstairs to find more stuff. Oh my god. I found the Vibratron 3000. Vibrator go brr. You can inspect and then interact with this in your inventory to, uh, well, brr people at the... Right time might just lead to helpful reactions. Keyword, might. Might. <laughs> Madison will put it out when she sees you having that. What is that? Sleeping mask. I'll take that. Don't know what I'll need a sleeping You're mask. A little clip, though. What are you doing in here? I'm just going through some stuff. It's your house, but you know, it's okay. You probably shouldn't be seen taking anything in front of her. Wait. Can you please leave? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I need more alcohol. I Take need into the cupboards if you can. What the? You grabbed an item. Note that while no item will morally object to being grabbed like this, no all items can be grabbed. <laughs> you can click the right but okay. What did I just grab? And what is going on with the screen? Oh wait, what the? I didn't know you could grab that. <laughs> oh. You could, I didn't know you could grab stuff. But look at that. Yeah. That is kind of cool. I gotta get more alcohol. Oh, something's going on in here. <laughs> oh, not you again. Damn it, Derek. I'll leave you two to be, okay? Frankie, I'll give you a, a Nazi light. Holy fuck, I must have missed this. Thanks for looking out for me, dude. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're still good friends. No, wor no, no worries, Frankie. I got you. I'm gonna keep looking for stuff. Try another oh, one. You do a good job at inspecting. Why was I allowed to take motor oil? Yeah, I have no clue. Inspect. A dusty penguin contraption with a gimp hand and a big old gaping hole in the front. Kind of nightmarish. Ew. And heavy as fuck. Who the hell brought this? Can I pick this up? Oh my god, I can pick this up! Did you put it on the table? Right here? Yeah. There you go. Oh! Oh! Oh, practice. Wait. Oh, oh, I thought it said practice. <laughs> I didn't want to practice this thing. It says like a practice ping pong or the the ping pong thing. That's kind of cool. All right. I'll do that later, but we're, we're on a mission. I'm going to get you some more more alcohol. You should have some, man. Take a breather, you know? Wait, can I give him sunglasses? Whoa. These are pretty badass. <laughs> Where'd you find us? Listen. You don't mind if I take those off your hands, do you? I mean, I'm pretty badass looking already, but this? This will fucking seal the deal. There's nothing more attractive than a man wearing sunglasses at night. <laughs> you enjoy it. Wait, why aren't you wearing them? You disappoint me, Frank. Um, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you- Holy this. shit, dude. 
I must have missed this when I was going around scooping up all the alcohol. I'm glad you see things the same way I do. I'll take this off your hands. He's doing my part. You can see that he's actually becoming a little interested in me. That's a cactus. With two... That's a... Interesting... Do I have to censor that? I feel like I have to censor this. You probably should. Wait. There we go. I guess I'll just give you all of my alcohol. I guess I don't really need it. Shit, another one? You, sir, are a great asset to my cause, and your loyalty to me is noted. Frank, I ever heard- wait, okay, what do you- what do you think about Catherine? Let's talk about Catherine. Dude, she's so hot. I'd give my left nut for a night with her. Okay, I think I made some headway with Frank. I can feel the trusting emanating from him. Radiating, even. Or is that- Emanating. His musk? Or is that his musk? Or yeah. both? Um, so, so we had to do something with her, because he did something with, um, he did something with one of the girls in the last episode, That's I thought. That's the last, I mean, it was a, uh, thermos. Yeah. Look, dude, there's a chance there's alcohol in that there thermos. I need to take that very seriously. I can't check on myself because just the smell of alcohol makes me sick. I can smell it for you. You've proven yourself to me, dude. I trust you to make the right decision. Go ahead. Take a whiff. There's no alcohol in there. You can give her a thermos back. Okay, BFFs. We're BFFs now. Smell. For fuck's sake, it's it eeks, it reeks of booze. It's almost completely full and one whiff. S s one sing? whiff singed half my damn nose hairs. Should I tell Frank? Oh, or should I lie to him? Okay, I'll, I'll tell him. So I gave that good, his thermos a good sniff. I trust that you'll tell me the truth about the situation. It's clean. It's filled with water. She really has a rare a medical condition called thirst. You did the right thing today. Don't you ever forget that. The thermos stays with me, but you've gained my everlasting trust. You just let me know if you ever need a salad. I have to say, I've been enjoying your visits over to the security headquarters of the house. It's been making my balls tingle in a different way oh, to get my drift. That's all I'm going to say for now. You can let that marinate for a bit, but, uh, keep it up. Okay, Frank, I will. I'll let that marinate a little bit. So maybe we should talk to her and see if we can get, like... She's like, what the fuck? Did you need something? Um, I think Frank has a crush on you. Ugh, as if. Why Why did that make us friends? Uh, want me to grab you one? A drink? Oh, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. Let me see. You know what? I may take you up on that after all against my better judgment. My boyfriend is still being a dickwad. Cool, see what I can do. Let me see if we're even in his, like, trust circle now. Well, he hmm. says we have his everlasting choice. As much as I trust you, you just don't have the balls for this. I can! I can hold my own if something went down. Oh, 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 oh. I don't mean it in a figurative sense. I mean my balls are massive, dude. You Ooh, literally don't have the balls for it. One astute observation. <laughs> hey, it's not like that. I'm just calling it like I see it. Anyway, I've been working out my scrotum, taking ball supplements and getting testicular injections <laughs> for years to get this look. My balls are a fucking work of art. Also, <laughs> my sex special abilities have just started to surface. But with these babies pumping me up with the best pasta on, the potential is endless though. <laughs> I really don't think your big balls thing is a thing. Uh, how is any of this relevant? Well, I don't know which one's going to piss him off. I mean, we're, we're BFFs. He, his interest is slightly going up. We're, we're getting there. Hmm. How is this relevant? I guess you wouldn't know unless you were endowed in the same way I am. As if huge clunkers don't already come with all kinds of benefits and perks on their own, mine also tingle whenever an intoxicated person is nearby. That's how I knew I was destined to make this my life's work. No, oh, shit, Sorry, gee, I guess I'm not out. You're just cut not out cut out for this. Are we gonna call this Frank's clunkers? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, fat chance I'm giving up now, not after all I've been through with this bullshit. What kind of perks is he even talking about? It's so fucking weird. Okay, Frank, seriously, I don't think having big balls matters as much as you think. Oh, wow. Oh, really? I mean, I knew you were a little green, but uh, 
I didn't know you were that inexperienced. The simple fact of the matter is that ladies just love a man with a huge set of balls. The bros do too. Fucking everybody does. They can't get enough of them. There ain't nobody out there who isn't impressed by the size of my fucking Jolly Ranchers, dude. Or jealous of it. I'm being honest. I love every time he talks about his balls and he says a different name for them. There's Jolly Ranchers now. And how did you come to such conclusions? Well, because I, uh, set up a lot of surveillance systems in my life work and I, uh, I constantly overhear people talking to each other and bragging about how big their respective boyfriends and fuck buddies' balls are. Let's keep that between you and me, though. Those systems aren't uh, exactly legal. You get what I'm saying. Okay, I have to break it to you, Frank. We're talking about a different size. <laughs> what does a chick really know about the power and majesty of the balls? People? I've known that balls are the hottest shit on the fucking planet for like ever. Why else would that guy from the 50s with the bouncy hair literally write a song about hot fucking balls, dude? You know, a goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Yeah, dude, you know what I'm saying. I bet I can prove it to you by asking you around the party. Go ahead. These people know the real strength of man is in the size of his gentle sailors. I need to stay here at my post, but if you'd like to bring anybody over here to discuss it, my balls and I would be happy to see the embarrassment on your face when they break the news to you. The balls have eyes. Thanks for the horrific idea, Frank. No matter, it's on. I'm going to call this Frank's gentle sailors. <laughs> that or his Jolly Ranchers or his Clankers or his, was it, Golden Nuggets or something? Okay, let's get some people over. Can I talk to you? Yo, you see how Steph stepped up to help Amy? She doesn't even know that chick. Pretty cool of her. Uh, let's go hang out somewhere else, huh? You looking kind of bored? Is that how I can get him over there? Huh, yeah. You know what? I'm down. Where to? Check on tonight's booze selection. Yeah, liquor cabinet. Okay, now we ask him about the balls when we get in there. Let's go. Derek, you're a man. Let's talk. Oh. Wait, hey Derek, what's better to have? A huge cock or huge balls? Let's just straight up just say that to a person we barely know. Is this some bizarre way of hitting on me? Because it's weirding me out. Hey, I was just trying to- Come on, Derek, answer the question. <laughs> you see, your friend and I have a quarrel going on. And if you really want us to stop talking about this stuff, then your best bet would be <laughs> just to settle it for us. What the fuck? You too, Frank? Well, if it'll really help put an end to this, everybody knows that having a big cock is better. What the hell would be the benefit of having huge balls? And why the fuck am I even having this conversation? Dude, <laughs> having massive balls grants you superpowers. That's common knowledge. <laughs> I can't believe you guys don't even research this stuff. Do I have to teach you newbies everything? I have some websites you guys can check out. You'll just have to disable your web browser security and ad blockers to see the hidden truth on them. It's eye opening, though. This is not how I pictured this episode to turn out, but here we are. Here we are. No, I'm good, Frank. I really doubt that's true, and I sincerely question your sources. My answer stands. Now let's drop it and move on, please. Ah. In the end, it was all worth it. Point for me. Let me, let me, ask, let me answer Rachel. Hey, Rachel. how's it going? What, hey, what's more pleasurable to you? Big balls or big penis? What makes you think I'd answer that right here, right now, or for you? Maybe we need to be friends with a lot of people to answer these questions. <laughs> wait, wait, Brittany! Hey again, how's it going? Okay, wait. Hey, Brittany, we're, we're great friends. Do you prefer large something or large something? Or just large in general? Well, I never. What kind of a question is that to ask a lady? Uh, Frank made me ask you. Boys and ladies. Frank, is that true? Did you make this poor girl ask me such a rude question? Yeah, Frank, tell her. Huh? What? Me? I mean, yeah, <laughs> did, but, but it's not like that. Look, we're not trying to be rude. We're just trying to settle a fact. This chick 
thinks that all women prefer big cocks over big balls. And while she's entitled to her stupid opinion, I'm just trying to show her that she's dead wrong. You're stupid. Hey, wait, 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 I'm not stupid. Well, that is certainly an interesting argument you two have got going on. I'm not quite sure why you need my input on it. But if you really want to know, Frank, I hate to break it to you, but I think you've been misled. Now, me personally, I'm mostly attracted to women. While I do like to dabble with men from time to time, I think balls are rather disgusting, if you ask me. I wish men came in a variety with just the penis and no balls. Now, that would be a dream come true. Well, <laughs> anyway, I think I've said more than enough, and I don't care to elaborate. You two have fun. Thank you, girlfriend. Hey, wait. This doesn't make any sense. I knew that lesbo chicks didn't like balls, but I thought the only reason for that was because they had never seen a respectable pair before. You're into boobs, right? I mean, those are just basically huge balls with nipples on them. <laughs> are you picking up what I'm putting down here? What kind of conversation are we having now? That's not really how all that works, Frank, but I have better things to do than argue with you. I'll just leave you alone to wrestle with those demons in your head. Burn! Point for me. I'm two for zero right now. <laughs> hey, Madison. Um... Weird question. I actually think that a person's worth is more on a spiritual level than a physical one. Yeah, but if you had to pick between the two. Hmm. Well, big balls symbolize harem mating. Chimps have tiny cocks and big balls because they mate with multiple females. Yeah, That's not that exactly nasty. endearing, and that doesn't give me any deeply positive spiritual vibes. So, definitely not the balls. Well, I heard not in balls, so fuck yeah. What? I thought chicks liked it when guys are dominating, all conquering, harem collecting types. Here we go. Oh, God. This may come as a massive shock to you, Frank, but most self respecting women like it when a man is mature enough to be faithful and don't find it sexy when men go pouring around. That's not what Candy told me when I was doing a line of coke off her ass crack. What? <laughs> I don't want to prove him. And point received, Patrick. I have to talk oh, to you. Oh, uh, you again. I've got my eyes You're on, on you. You're on a shit list. At least, I think I do. Come on, Pat. Blurry visions never kept you down. Let me see if he'll even ask, because he's just... Why, what an excellent conversation starter. To what do I owe... Oh, wait, it's you. What's the deal just casually chatting me up after what you pulled earlier? You totally went against the code of brawn duct. You better believe I'm going to get you back, bra, when you least expect it. Okay. We need you to settle an argument between the two of us. Your help would really be appreciated, though. I just tell him how much balls rule. It only takes a second. Oh, I see how it is. Now that you need something from me, we're best friends. I have a bra opportunity and an obligation to teach you a lesson here so you don't just go around treating other bras the way you did me to. Oh no. You want me to say penises are better, so I'm gonna vote balls. I <laughs> knew he was totally gonna do that. Back, bra, I should've just that. said balls. Yeah. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got other places requiring my awesomeness. Damn it, I should've just like, you shouldn't have given him laxatives. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wonder if, if our points through how many points do I need? Let me ask him. How's it going, lady, though? Frank, I wait. Okay, believe me yet? You mean with the few people you managed to manipulate in the scene that shit in front of me? I'll need to hear a bit more testimony than that if I'm going to believe such a ludicrous claim. Fine. <laughs> Not with your brains with the Patrick dude. Damn it. Okay, well, we'll have to leave it here for this episode. This is not how I thought this, no this no. episode was gonna go. No. But here we are. But yeah, that was uh, that's House Party, guys. We'll leave it here. Um, let us know in the comments below what you guys think of our feud. <laughs> <laughs> but be subtle. Just yeah, be very subtle. But like, so either Frank is right or uh, if, Chris uh, is right. Yeah, if Frank was right, just leave in the comments. If Frank if if Frank was wrong, I guess you could say that too. Oh yeah, you can say that. That, <laughs> that works. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode like we did, please hit a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and we'll see you for the next one.
I'm crazed. And I'm Witchley. Grumble on.